Acres Ford and Wild Wheelies in Winder, Georgia can take care of all of your vehicle needs. It's a one-stop shop, truly. You see us do covered edition trucks and other customs all the time, ever editions as well, but none like the two you see behind me today. Today's review is about our two of our biggest trucks we've ever completed. Let's get after it. We have a Star White F450 Platinum and a Star White F350 Limited. One's a single rear wheel and one obviously is a dually setup. Both are our biggest kits we have ever completed. This one here is on an 8 to 10 inch Kelderman air ride suspension on 40s and 24s. And this one next to us is a 10 inch Wicked Lift on 42s and 26s. Got to check us out. This is the first time watching us. Hit that subscribe button for me. It would be mean everything to me but this today is about a review of both so let's get right to it up front you can tell as far as paint we did a lot of customizations on both of these but let's start out with the foundational lift kit so when you go above an 8 inch lift the main manufacturers is like bds and fabtech stop at the 8 inch mark so it's hard to find or to know who to trust and who to use when it comes to kits that are 10 inches plus we trust wicked we trust carolman we trust many other manufacturers so it's not saying that we have to run this one or that one uh, if you want to go this big but these are two that we trust and know uh, perform greatly the Kelderman air ride suspension lift front and rear true complacement is gives you great overall ride quality like no other on an f-450 system you got raptor shock specifically tuned for this application firestorm airbags your compressor is in the spare tire delete location right there we have train horns as well to go along with it just a phenomenal truck and this f-450 is actually available for sale right now so if you're interested in this huge truck that actually rides very well hit us up for everything a good look at the rear applique differences as far as limited to platinum and tail lights we did essentially the same throughout there we're on 42s on the f-350 this is a 42 15 and a half 26 versus this is an eight and a half wide setup uh, overall as far as the width but a uh, 24 inch tall american force plague and the gloss black and milled look it is a money setup. We have the American Force Nemesis all blacked out just with some milling on the lip and the center cap there. But a 15 and a half wide tire on a 14 wide wheel versus a 40, 13 and a half, 24 Fury Country Hunter MT tire, a true mud terrain tire on both. And we love to stick with a mainstream uh, Nitto or Torio tire accordingly, but the Fury tire is one that we know is available only in this size of 13 and a half in a 40 inch by 24. So we've ran this when it comes to extreme or big and boastful with entire combos. This has been a great uh, success for us overall. Now we do have a super single up front, so we are 12 wide on the front. Uh, and again, the same tire size, 40, 13 and a half, 24. So the super single up front this gives it a, a more uh, bolsterous look, which fits the vibe of this truck being so tall. Now the Kelderman lift here has three different ride height settings. This is at the ride height setting. So it's gonna fluctuate between that eight to 10 inch mark, uh, just based on the conditions. But now it can go up as well, uh, a little bit higher as well as down lower for easy entry and exit. The Wicked Lift is a hard component lift. We have uh, Fox shocks go, go along with it, your traditional coil spring lift. You got different radius arms front and traction bars in the rear too. These are the Megalodon fashion because you know, I love Rambo. This is actually my truck y'all, if you didn't know. This is the, the Megalodon arms front and rear. It's made after, after a Browning machine gun back in, from World War II days, but it looks like, it reminds me of Rambo. <laughs> you know I'm all about the Rambo vibe just something about me being an only child and watching the movie when i was real young and just getting that lone wolf mentality of i'm going to compete i'm going to conquer at any cost or expense y'all so lots of customizations as far as paint but just two beautiful trucks and if you look at them sitting side by side so we got 10 inch on 42s and this one's in that ride height setting on 40s they're sitting pretty daggum level overall so a good comparison this is the first time i've been able to have these side by side to review for you all and what a stunning setup this is sitting side by side man i'm just kind of i'm kind of a little speechless of just seeing these two trucks and what we've been able to bring to fruition 
just through great uh, hard work and uh, thought process. I am uh, so amazed at what we got going on here, y'all. So check us out here at Aikens Ford and Live with us for everything auto. We got you covered. As far as some of the paint, you can tell on the headlights, we did a different variation where we kept the black on the inner there and did white on the outside with deleted that amber on the side there as well as that location there is usually amber. So a different variation in that headlight when you come over to here this one next door we just flipped it essentially doing the white on the inside and black on the outer deleting the amber into white so a good comparison boom to boom so this will give you guys whether you're accessorizing with us or not to see the variation side by side hopefully will help in your process but you know if you want to roll with the best you got to come mess with us and we would love to take care of your custom build whether you buy it from us or not the limited grill up front is different from any other grill you get that big main bar in the middle and it was important to me to accent that with a different color and i'm big on doing the grill in black i think it just makes the grill appear to be even taller just the front end that much taller so i'm very happy with how uh, the front end of this truck turned out both of them though because here next door we've got more middling in the wheel with that plague wheel so we wanted to accent that by leaving those middle horizontal high flow bars chrome and we've got our 14 inch led lights uh, in that grill too i've got them in mine as well they're in the big middle bar didn't want to do four here but you see there's one on either side right there the startup on that looks really good but did just the perimeter of the grill in white and did the entire perimeter of this one over here in white with the black on the pockets left the pocket as i'm talking about right here that chrome surround left that area chrome as far as the bumpers kept the tow hooks chrome here put them black next door trimmer valence painted to match is unbelievable and added the worn factory winch behind the bumper so clean and discreet almost has a covert vibe to it looking so uh, awesome up front ready to use it if we ever so need it now you're probably asking real deal why you got mud on your tires we were at the gncc this weekend racing four wheelers in union south carolina and there was a lot more carnage here so all you say that real deal doesn't take his trucks and do stuff with them this thing was super muddy but didn't have much time to clean it up so didn't get it to get inside the shred so sorry about that but anyway a good look down here at the rear got the raptor dual steering stabilizer shocks there looking great we got dual foxes next door with the wicked bracket and then coming on the side side badge slightly different variation here leaving the chrome on the platinum f450 left it chrome too and then mirrors did completely white i actually had mine done completely white to begin with but austin and i was like uh, needs to be black cap so the black cap looks way better to me on this application the all white looks great on this application no trucks are the same uh, so you just got to make sure we get it right for your particular preference and build side badge comparison let me know your thoughts on that we did the 6.7 and Power Stroke identical on both trucks. We did the door handles, which are usually chrome, star white on both. Look at that mild to wild scale. God, we're so aggressive. We're eight inches outside, and even we're still about five on the dually setup. We blacked out our side markers there, did a black custom third brake light there. Tail lights are identical. We brought the gate black throughout the applique into just this bliss portion. There's a light smoke on top and bottom with an, a star white perimeter. Did them both just the same and they look incredible, especially when illuminated on the applique here. We left the platinum letters, uh, the OE brushed aluminum, but did added a white border at the top and bottom. Rear emblem, just like we did the front. And this upper portion here is usually all texture black. It's non-premium, it does not look good. We wrapped that portion there and did uh, remove texture to star white just like we did here next door right on the limited letters and accenting the body lines of the applique in the star white emblem just like the front which is srqs and star white to match money set up star white third brake light up top got an akins liner guarantee for life i got through a bed cover on here still i'm getting there we left uh, the rear springs the same way for my towing application. Got a big tall block in the rear. Megalodon arms in the back. Fox shocks with resis. Wild to wild scale, y'all. Cradle down below. Set up on my truck. The Wicked lift looks great. So if you want to roll with Wicked, we can go all the way up to 16 inches, inches with them. They have uh, great products as well. You can go up from a 1012 
uh, up to a 10-12 on the Kelderman. So this is an 8 to 10 inch. My buddy Mason Thompson just did his Super Duty trimmer with a Kelderman as well. We do Keldermans all the time. We wanted to get with any level, but just to let you know, uh, we try to push certain brands just because we believe in them uh, more so than others. And obviously we can give you better price points on those as well. But if you're partial to a certain kit, we will definitely take care of your needs if you so choose to stick with a certain kit also. But this video is just to show you differences between these two trucks, but more, more so for me, just, just this is a legacy day when we get something like this side by side, uh, just truly special. The documentation of great days like this I mean everything to me. Now let's check out the inside. Power board on here, we left the chrome there and on the window trim and we did gloss black on my truck, upper and lower. On the inside of our platinum truck, we've got the black leather with Marsala stitching with the silver stripe down the center. Got twin panel moonroof. Here's the window sticker for the F450. This is the 2022. Here's your price points in our reserve edition package. So our reserve edition uh, has been so popular on the F450 exclusively. And this is just like in a whole other category as far as being such a big and boastful truck. On the limited truck, you get the pure navy interior. It's got that blue with the gray with the white stitching. We painted those portions white. Look at the real deal over there too. Got the limited vibe going on. Got the Alcantara suede headliner with the Starlight headliner going on too. Both have big 12 inch touch screens. Just two different distinct uh, variations and vibes as far as, as far as how the feel the truck when you're inside the truck they both ride different too but obviously because of this one being on 15 and a half wides and the dually set up being on a 12 wide setup but uh obviously the dually set up in the back on a 13 and a half wide so what all i'm getting at is both these trucks drive distinctly different but they both exceeded my expectations about how well they drive being so big so this one here is for sale. You can look next door at some similarities here. We did switchbacks in the mirror. Let me go open this door. Look at your clearance lights up top. We did star white. We did not do anything to the clearance lights here. You can see switchbacks on the side mirrors and up top. We still got ambers going on here, but we did do switchbacks on the side of the mirrors to go along with it. So many ways to take your truck, slightly different from the rest. And that's what it's all about, but different lift kits different vibe as far as paint scheme and more. And there's still so many other things that we could add to both trucks. <laughs> I'm just saying there's so many things we could add to them. So more of the story, whether you're looking for a F-150 or a Ram, or you bring us your Chevy or any other brand, and you want to just do a covert, you want to level it and roll some 33s or 35s, we got you covered on that. You've been seeing us do that for uh, many years now, but we're diving into doing bigger trucks, bigger average edition variations, because we know that that's a niche that we're missing. And if we're missing a niche, then I don't like that. Plus, but the time I've got to spend on this truck is, it's been a blast because it just, there's a different feel to being on 42s. I mean, just at the GNCC race this weekend, all eyes were on me. And when you're in a Raptor, you kind of get lost in the mix. But when you're in this average edition right here or the reserve next to us, you're going to catch attention and whether you're looking for it or not just having that that respect of man what a big substantial truck it looks great and if you love it and if it fits your vibe then i'm all about it and that's why i just want to show you all that we're down with all the variations i'm not a cookie cutter guy i'm real doing deal because i see and get everything whether you want to roll with sixes or 30s or 17s I'm down with it. Whether you want to run on air ride or a standard kit, I'm down with it. Whether you want to run with a Ram or a Chevy or a Nissan, I'm down with it. As long as we can do it tastefully and it makes you smile and it's, it's the best fit for you, that's what it's all about. So for today, hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see more information or have all the questions about either of these trucks, just let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email. Everything's in the uh, link down below as well. So thank you all so much for watching today. It's been a phenomenal one as always. Uh, stay blessed, stay positive, and thank God. Peace out.